Okay guys, I'm going to try to make a game out of this. It's something I hate doing, but it needs to be done. I'm going to put a hand wax job on this 2003 Chevy Cat Eye truck. If you're new to the channel, I'm trying not to set my goals real big because I'm afraid <laughs> I'm afraid I won't achieve it. My goal, and I'm going to time myself, see how quick I can do this. This is probably one of the biggest vehicles I've ever waxed, hand waxed. I, back when I was in high school, I hand waxed a 72 Lincoln Continental. That thing was as long as this driveway. I'm just exaggerating. But it was a long car. I washed it, detailed it, waxed it, everything. It was a dark brown. It's a beautiful car. Man, that thing was huge. Took me all day. But... Here's my goal for right now, and I'll tell you how long it takes. I'm going to try to do everything on top. Okay, I'm going to do this fiberglass cover. I'm going to do the back glass. I'm going to do the top. I'm going to stop where these doors stop. I mean, I'm just going to do the top. Here comes my plane. I'm going to do the windshield. I'm going to do the hood. I'm going to see how long it takes me to do all that. Put a good hand wax job on it and, uh, you know, and take the wax off. So we'll see how long it takes. Hopefully it won't take too long. I'm really dreading it. I was going to wax my wife's car, but she's fixing to leave for her Zumba class in a few minutes. So that's why I got stuck. Or I'm doing this myself. I'm just wanting to take care of everything. Anyway. I'm going to start this right now. Y'all can kind of guess, see how long you think it's going to take me. I'm 66 years old, and I'm going to have to have a stool to get to some of these higher places. Might have to get a ladder. <laughs> I don't know. It's a pretty high truck. That's another reason why I like lowered trucks. <laughs> no, anyway, let's see how long it takes. I'm using a turtle wax. Everybody has their own opinion about what to use. This is what I use, turtle wax. It's cheap. It's good does a good enough job for what I want so we've already kind of cleaned it but there's pollen back on it so let's get at it I'm, I'm going to guess uh well y'all can guess I'll let you know when I come back to you how long it took me to do this the windows and the top and the hood I'll see y'all in a little bit hang in there okay and be get be thinking about how long you think it's going to take someone like me to do something like that see y'all in a bit Okay, guys, I started at 3.08. I, before I started the countdown, though, I did go get my stepladder. I knew I was going to have to have it for the top, and it wound up being pretty handy around this area, too, and the hood. But I got wax all over it, and I just wanted to show you that I did. I stopped at the hood so how long was that uh, almost uh, almost 20 minutes to me to put all that on now you of course I scrubbing places that you know the paint needed to cleaned that the turtle wax got up turtle wax is a cheap wax you know and it comes with the applicator the paste and I really like it I've used it for many years a lot of people have different opinions this is just what I do I've got my opinion this is what I use so, uh, you know, I like it pretty good. It's real cheap and it's not real expensive, but there it is. So now it's time for me to take it off. So I don't know exactly what time it is. I'm going to say, I'm going to say 3.40 is when I'll get started. I'll take all this off. We'll see how long it takes me. I'm, <laughs> I'm really dreading that part. So, so far I'm 20 minutes into it. Still got a long way to go. I got to get it off. <laughs> I'll see y'all in just a bit, okay? Okay, guys, I think I said... <laughs> I think I said I stopped... Started at 3.40. It's now 10 after 4. And I've been scrubbing my arms and shoulders off getting this wax off. Partly because uh, the sun's been on it part of the time and all that. But I don't have a shade, really. And this thing won't fit in the garage. So, 
anyway I got it all off it looks pretty good very slick you might be asking yourself why do I put wax on the windows it's a real good cleaner and it kind of beads the water up as well when I uh, turn the wipers on if it is raining I do that on all my vehicles I've got to do some more uh, touch-up work on this thing remember it is a 2003 so it's it's not too bad I mean it it needs a little bit of help but uh you know it's probably one of the nicest one of the nicest trucks the nicest truck I guess I've ever had was that 07 Chevy truck coffee I, I miss that truck as a good truck uh, remember I sold five vehicles to uh, Rob Pitts on YouTube if you ever watch rabbit shoes cars he bought five of my vehicles the 07 Silverado truck coffee uh, the 75 C10 truck sky the 78 GMC truck Shannon the 1962 two-door sports coupe uh, Impala and see what was the other one? Oh, the 1988 OBS truck uh, Sam see how I name all my vehicles anyway he bought all five and there's videos on it from like around August of 2022 August September time time frame he bought all five and uh you know the whole driveway was you know I had let's see had four in the driveway one sitting here all the garages were full you know I had an abundance of uh C10s Chevy trucks and I love Chevy and GMC trucks I like them all but anyway sorry I got off on that okay now uh, my I'm gonna try I'm trying to set little goals my wife has gone to Zumba and I'm going to try to get a shower before she gets back home so my goal is let's see set myself small goals so I can achieve it I'm going to do the back the tailgate and bumper and uh, you know everything on the back and I'm going to try to get the uh, bump let's see the front part done headlights grill bumper anything that will take wax I'm going to put it on it so that's my goal for today and then I'll see where I'm at so uh, I'm going to say it's I don't know I'm going to say it's like 15 after 4 something like that just guessing I think that's about right though anyway I'll see y'all in a minute I'm going to put the wax on I'm just going to save you all the trouble just trust me I'm putting wax on and I'll show you what it looks like when I get done and tell you what time it is. I'm trying to time myself. If I can set myself a goal, you know, I can do it. But I can tell a difference in the hood and stuff. I mean, it's real shiny. From a distance, it, you know, the old truck looks pretty good. I mean, it's 20 years old. And uh, it's a used truck. So I'll see you all in just a bit. Just hang in there. Okay, guys, it's about 10 till 5. So... I forgot what I, I think I said 15 4 15 when I started but I didn't take into account that I was gonna have to lift this which is no big deal uh, but I, I waxed not just the back and the bumper and all that I waxed you know from this I always pick out a line or some some kind of something so I don't miss anything so I waxed all here you know around the tailgate and all that stuff Got the whole front end waxed. I need to lock that too. Uh, got the bumpers waxed and the, oh, front end done. And uh, they're still, I'm still going to do the sides, but I think I'm going to do them another day because my wife is going to be home in a few minutes and uh, we're going to eat about a supper. And that sounds pretty good to me. We've only had one meal today. We normally have. We normally have two meals a day. Normally one about, I don't know, say one o'clock, two o'clock, and then we'll eat something and then, you know, go to bed. We don't really, we're not really breakfast people. We are speaking for myself, my wife too, but really for me, I'm a coffee drinker. I've got to have it in order to get going. <laughs> my wife makes fun of me because I don't say much in the mornings, 
But in the afternoon, I'm all I'm all mouth, aren't I? Anyway, this is what I got done today. I'm real proud of what I got done. I just got to do the sides. That won't take too long at all. Probably, probably an hour or so, I guess. Because I'm going to do door jams and, you know, everything like that. So I don't want to get started doing that today and then be wondering what where did I stop, where did I start kind of thing. So we're good. I'm going to end it right here. Uh, oh, I want to show you this truck. This has been, this truck's been in East Tennessee. Oh. Forgive me guys, I'm an old man and I got bad knees. Oh. But I was gonna show you, I mean, this, this is a 20 year old truck and it's in pretty good shape, isn't it? I mean, to be 20 years old, I'm trying to show you everything. I'm not going to crawl all up and under it, but you get the gist of it. Pretty, pretty solid old truck. And my friend, my friend, uh, oh my goodness, my friend GM1038 said that this truck and his truck, he has a cat eye truck like this too. Check him out. GM1038. His name is Brian. But, uh, he said this one and his is the most solid he's seen. And I'm trying to show you this. I don't know if you can see very much, but I'm just showing you. Just because I'm here and I'm already dirty and sweaty and I've got to go get a shower. But it's a pretty, pretty clean old truck. I, I, I really got lucky getting it i mean yeah it's got little issues here and there that you would expect after 20 year old used truck but it's a pretty nice truck and you know as i was waxing this thing i was uh i've been uh trying to keep up with gas mileage on this thing it's uh gets about I don't know, uh, like like 18 to 20. I think it got 20 one time. I think. Anyway, uh, I've been kind of, you know, been putting regular in it. And, you know, then the next time, you know, I'll put some premium in it or mix it up. You know, I'm trying to give it as much octane as I can afford. Remember, I'm on a fixed income. My wife and I both are. So, I mean, got to be careful how you spend your money. But, so, yeah, it's a, it gets, you know, 18 to 20. Well, you know, my little 93 Ford Ranger would get about 20. So, look how much more truck I got. You know, plus, you know, I got extended cab, bed cover, and all that. And now, that little Ranger, oh my goodness, I was proud to have that truck. Drove it for 23 years. It's a good truck, good solid truck. Hardly ever gave me any problems at all i mean it's a good truck but like i said my knees are going bad and i just had to i just rather have an automatic truck so you know this this kind of fit the bill remember i was looking for a s10 or a colorado to begin with but i never could find one and if i did it'd be in another state somewhere and uh you know i just picture myself driving all over the southeast part of the united states and then you go look at it and it's not what it looks like in the pictures or something's wrong with it so I was trying to find something local I couldn't have found this and seems like the Lord always directs me in the right direction so yeah I really like this old truck it doesn't look too bad I'm real proud to have it thanks for watching the video guys I'll try to continue this uh tomorrow if you or whenever whenever I can I'll finish this I'll do the sides and the door jams and all this other stuff but I'm real proud of the way the old truck's turning out. I mean, yeah, it's got some flaws. It's got some imperfections. But it's 20 years old. Hey, I'm 66. And I got lots and lots of imperfections. I know y'all think I'm perfect. But I am not. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I do appreciate you watching. You're watching Primer is Best on YouTube. And uh, 
if you'd like and subscribe i'd appreciate it i'm going to get back on my square bodies just as soon as this yard dries up we had a muddy mess it's rained and rained and rained but i'm going to get back on the square bodies the 85 c10 trucks uh tyler the 84 c10 truck left turn bill and i need to go start the 78 chevy c10 truck billy james but my yard's just been saturated we had we had a ton of rain and had a lot of trees fall. Had a tree fall on one of my neighbors. It fell on the house, but didn't hurt the house. We've had a lot of turbulent weather. So, and I've been stuck in this front yard before, and I'm not going to go through that again. I don't know how I got started on that. But anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm also on Instagram, Primer is Best. Uh, Facebook, Primer is Best. Got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget, and uh, I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. I appreciate y'all watching. I'll do the sides tomorrow, door jams, and all that other stuff. Yeehaw. That's a lot of truck to wax. Hand wax. And uh, I'm feeling it. But it's a good way for me to lose a little bit of weight, get me out of the house. I love being outside. And uh, it's such a beautiful day. I mean, the Lord, the Lord is good. I can't hardly, I don't know how y'all feel, but I can't hardly stand to watch the news anymore. It's all depression, and most of it's lies, and, you know, I just I just don't even want to hear it. I'd just rather come outside, feel this breeze, look at what God has created. He's created everything, including myself, and I'm just so blessed that He didn't make me a worm or a snail or or. I don't know, all the creatures that you can think of, creatures, as Ernest T. Bass would say on YouTube, uh, on a Andy Griffith, sorry, Andy Griffith show, Ernest T. Bass, he's one of my favorite characters, I like to watch creatures, <laughs> oh my goodness, I bet they had a barrel of laughs doing that show, thanks for watching guys, God bless each and every one of y'all, and I hope I'll catch you in the next video, you won't miss any of my videos, if you'll like and subscribe, give me a big thumbs up, please. It helps my YouTube channel grow. Give me a big thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to the channel. God bless y'all. I hope that I'll see y'all again. Take care and God bless. See y'all later. Okay, guys, it's, it's the next day from when I finished waxing. Uh, my wife done some editing for me on my video, so if it seems like it kind of cut off abruptly well she edited where i had i was going to make make it two videos because it's getting kind of long but i'm going to try to finish this up in a hurry i'm still trying to wax this 2003 chevy cat eye truck okay now let's i'll have to watch the video and add up how much time i have into waxing this truck i'm today i'm going to do the sides and uh the door jams and then i think i'll be just about done now, my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., says she's going to help me. She's going to be wax off. You want to be wax off or wax on? I'm off. Okay. <laughs> she's off. Get it? She's off. <laughs> but, yeah, she's going to, she'll take the wax off. I'll put it on, and then she'll take it off, and then we get done. I, you know, if I get done before her, which I should, then I'll be helping her take off, too. So what I'm going to do on this deal is whatever time we start, uh, you know, like if it's 30 minutes and we're done, I'm going to make it an hour because there'll be two of us working instead of just me working. So, uh, got my turtle wax out here. Got my little radio where I can turn it on there as soon as I get done doing this part of the video and we'll get started. And then I think tomorrow, Lord willing, we're going to wax her little 2005 Scion XB, Xbox is what we call it. And, uh, it, it's about... <laughs> That car is actually probably about from, well, it's a little longer than this, but I was going to say about from here up here, and you just about, just about got the whole car. But, yeah. Anyway, I was going to tell you something else. I uh, want to tell you I appreciate y'all watching all the videos, and hope this is not going to be a stupid video, but we'll just add, add up all the time at the end, and we'll go from there. Hang in there, and we'll see how long it takes. Okay, guys, I forgot to mention in the video what time we started. We started at 2.20. It is now 10 till 3. And my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., helped me take uh, some of the 
wax off, but she got a phone call from her friend. So I'm going to add. No, I'm, I wasn't going to say that, but no, I'm not sure that wasn't planned. Anyway, her friend called and uh, I'm going to, I'm going to add 15 more minutes to the truck. So we'll say 45 minutes for me to do the sides and then take it off. She, she had started, had a good start taking it off and, but uh, like I said, her friend called. So now I got to do the door jams. I had to raise the hood to get all this in here. It's my first time to wax the truck. You can find out a lot about a, ve a vehicle if you wash and wax it. So, yeah. So now it's a... Uh, I've done with that. i got to do door jams. So, uh, what time is it now? It is 2.51. It's 2.51 now. So, I'm going to start at 5 till 3. 255 get myself a drink of water and then i'm going to come back out here and do the door jams and then i'm going to call it done and then i'll have to add up the time watching the video to see how much time i actually have into this waxing this truck so hang in there we'll we'll all find out in the meantime y'all estimate how much you think i've got in how much time i've got in to put wax in the whole truck see y'all in a bit Okay, guys, I think I am done. As done as I'm going to get. Uh, I started at, what I say, 2.55 and is now 10 after, 10 minutes after 3. So it took me 15 minutes. I done the door jams, you know, just opened up the doors, waxed it, cleaned it off. And I think I'm going to call it done. You know, I opened up the gas door. And, uh, you know, cleaned in there, waxed all that. You know, I waxed everything I could possibly do. I'm not going to wax the inside of the bed on this truck. I, it's got a cover on it. It's not bad. I'm not, I'm just trying to wax it to keep, protect it from the weather, the sun, and, you know, the rain, blah, blah, blah. I just done this yesterday. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but can you see all the pollen and dust on this? This is probably a dumb idea. But like I said, I live in East Tennessee, and it's just going to get hotter. It's probably 85 right now, and uh, it's pretty warm. So uh, I, I think I'm really going to like this truck. Uh, by the way, I seen a friend of mine at, at uh, I just leave it at that. I seen a friend of mine, and I was asking him, <laughs> oh boy, I was asking him about lowering this truck. And uh, he said he could put shackles on it and make it kind of even. So what do you think? But I mean, I don't want to mess up the ride on the truck. It's a, it, it rides like a truck, but it rides pretty good for a truck. So give me your thoughts on that. I mean, just kind of make it even. I don't know. Anyway, just your thoughts. Uh, I'm fixing to stop the video here in just a second. And I'm going to figure up how much time I actually have in this thing. Waxing it. I'm looking for places I missed or missed taking the wax off I mean so uh, yeah I'm real glad to get that done that's that's a big truck when you start hand waxing it and uh, shameful to say or it's sad to say I should say that when you come out the next day I mean you can just about you can just about write your name dang it's hot <laughs> You can just about write your name on top of everything. It's just dusty. But that's East Tennessee. I'm glad to be here. Glad to be alive. Glad to be above ground. As I've said before, my wife and I, every morning, first thing we do, besides make up the bed, is get on our knees and pray to the Lord. Thank God that He's let us wake up to another new day that He has made. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, I'll get back with you on just a minute. I'm going to have to get me a piece of paper and a pencil and add all this up. In the meantime, y'all guess. Just have a guessing game with it. Have a little bit of fun. I'll see y'all in a bit when I have a number. Well, I've added everything up two or three times to make sure I was right. I used all my fingers, all my toes, and uh, got a couple of these rocks that I used to count with. And do y'all want to take a guess real quick? Last chance. I'll give you the three. One, two, three three best i can tell it took two hours and 25 minutes 
to wax hand wax the whole truck and uh, if you're not used to using your shoulders and stuff a lot well I keep hearing something in here there's a lizard in here somewhere anyway two hours and 25 minutes to do the whole truck everything that I showed you I don't know what y'all guess but if you don't care be honest subscribe let me know what you how long you thought it took might have taken me to do this you know be honest I mean there's no prizes to be won so I mean you know just it's just all for fun and honesty is the best policy policy isn't it so yeah I'm really proud we got that much done tomorrow or the next day depends on what's going on around here uh, we might uh, I'm wanting to wax my wife's little sign XB so yeah let me know what you think and uh, please leave a subscribe leave a comment to the channel I'd appreciate it and let me know what you thought your guess was sorry for the plane guys we got one that flies over over this house every day you'd think we's in World War II I watch some of them old war movies and sounds about like it. He's going slow right now, but sometimes I think we're being dive bombed. But uh yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Probably a silly video, but it kind of kept me entertained to push me to go forward to go faster. You know what I mean? A little bit of encouragement here and there. So yeah, I, I appreciate y'all watching the videos. Please like and subscribe to Primer is Best. I'm also on Facebook, Primer is Best, and Instagram, Primer is Best. I have a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. And I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. Don't forget, if you have an old car or an old truck that you'd like me to put on my YouTube channel for absolutely, positively free, doesn't cost you nothing. Send me a video of the project that you are working on, what you just traded for. Something that uh, you found in the woods left for dead. I really enjoy that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, something you just finished, whatever. And I'll be happy to put it on my YouTube channel for free. Doesn't cost you nothing. Just walk around your vehicle two or three minutes, car or truck. Two or three minutes. Just talk about what you're going to do, what you've done, what you'd like to do, what you're saving up for. That's what I, <laughs> that's what I talk about most of the time. And I'm going to save up for this or for that. Anyway, uh, yeah, send me a video two or three minutes long. You can send it to PrimerDisBest at Comcast.net or Facebook Messenger PrimerDisBest or Instagram Messenger PrimerDisBest. I appreciate it. Guys, turn your phone sideways. Please no music or foul language. God bless y'all. Catch you in the next one. See y'all later.